Yeah, I've got friend come. I've got friends coming around in about twenty minutes, so I need to do this pretty fast. And- What's up? It's me, new fish, Connor, whatever you want to call me. It's too warm to wear a beanie. It's like 12 degrees, which I know loads of people will be like, that's not warm at all, but it's warm for us over here in England land. So yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a quick kind of, I want to say movie review, but it's not because I'm in no way, shape or form good enough to review a movie properly. So I'm going to just give my opinion on a movie I saw and whether or not I would recommend it. So yeah, so last week you will realise if you like my channel, um, and if you do, I would recommend uh, seeing a doctor, um, that I was not here. I didn't make a video last week and that was because I was extremely hungover. Um, When I say extremely hungover, I mean I got into my house around 4am and just vomited for about 3-4 hours straight, which is pretty fun. But anyway, before I went on all the drinking, uh, me and three of my friends, who are also the ones who are coming around like now, which is the reason we need to do this video really quickly, saw a movie called Get Out. Um, You might have heard of it. Uh, Yeah, it it stars Daniel Kaluga. I want to say that's how you say his name. It's not. I am white. I can't pronounce foreign names to save my life, although he's British. Stop digging yourself into a hole. But yeah, it stars him. It is written by Jordan Peele, who is actually one of my favourite kind of writer people, although he does a lot more comedy stuff, which I thought was kind of weird for him to do a horror film. But yeah. First things first, though, I need to get this straight. I am not a big horror movie buff. I don't like horror movies. My favourite movie is Mamma Mia. Like, yeah, I'm not good with big horror horror movie kind of things with a lot of jump scares and stuff like that. Thankfully, this one only had like four actual jump scares. Still jumped out my skin on all four of them. I'm sure Lydia will tell you about it in the comments. But yeah. So Get Out first. It's not really a horror horror as people would expect. You know, with loads of people dying and all that. Um, I will try and keep spoilers to a minimum. It's more of a psychological horror where it actually makes you think about it afterwards and you're just like oh fuck that's basically society um so yeah it's basically this guy called chris uh and his um girlfriend called rose i want to say it's rose i think it's rose i'm pretty sure it's rose um go to their go to rose's parents uh house um rose's brother's also also there but uh rose and chris are dating and chris is black obviously um and yeah, they're always like, oh yeah, it's all kill, it's all cool, we're not racist, we're liberal, I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. Um, fun fact, spoiler, <laughs> fun fact, they're not. Um, that's not really a spoiler, that's in like the first ten minutes of the film, you find that out. However, you find out some other stuff, which kind of is fucked up, uh, that I'm not going to tell you about. Because I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah. It is a, it's a very good film, it's very well written, it's very well done, all of the um, kind of acting's all good, all of the editing's good, it's, it's both fast paced and slow paced at the same time, as in it doesn't rush things, but it doesn't stay on one thing for too long, and when I say too long I don't mean like a long period of time, like there are some things where it does drag out a bit, but it's not dragging out to such an extent that you get bored. If that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. I'm doing this a week after I saw the movie, and I'm pretty sure I've got concussion, and I'm pretty sure I'm still hungover from last week. So yeah, it's weird. It's a really good film, though. I would recommend it. About 7 out of 10. No, I'll give it more than that. About an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Uh, Probably the only thing that would have improved it for me was my friend bringing her glasses so we didn't have to sit on the second row of the cinema so my fucking neck nearly broke afterwards um this has been a very quick video because like i said earlier i've got a lot of shit to do um because i procrastinate like a mofo so i'll see you next time um 
just before outro thing, I have a giveaway going on. I'm not going to give you the full details now. If you want to see it, watch my last two videos. Um, it's in like the end of that. Basically, I'm giving away a mouse mat. Uh, when I reach 250 subscribers, it's an expensive mouse mat. Uh, I am nowhere near that yet. Shut the fuck up. I'm nowhere near that yet. Um, but when I get there, I'll give it away. It's everywhere. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. On the larger screen, as usual, press on the weird shit around the screen to take you to different places. Uh, over here on my calendar will be uh, my video from the last time I uploaded one. Can't really remember what it's about, and it's going to change every time I upload one. Uh, press on my channel logo to take you to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Become a new fish today. There's another patron it's in the description. I've actually done shit with my rewards now. Um, seriously, if you if you do the last reward, I will I'll do what I say I'll do. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tell me if you've seen the film, what you thought of it. Uh, what's your favourite films and all that crap? Give me video ideas because fuck knows I need them. So yeah, just engage with me down below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all the usual nice things you can do on such a sh video sharing uh, platform as YouTube is. I'm dragging this out, I want to make it past 10 minutes, but I've got, I've still got three and a half minutes of just pure filming. <sighs> okay, bye! Save us some goals and all that jazz, I promise one day if I get like enough subs there'll be t-shirts with that or something, I don't know. Alright, see you later, bye!